MusicSchoolPrep.com. Lesson four: Ledger lines. Ledger lines are simply short lines above or below the staff that are used to notate pitches that are beyond the range of the five-line staff. Here, in this picture, we have some examples. On this treble clef staff, the top line represents the F note. So if we needed a higher pitch than that, we need to use ledger lines to properly notate that pitch. In the same manner as with the original five-line staff, the notes continue alphabetically up the staff. So here we have a D and a C. And below the treble clef staff, the same rules apply. Here we have the middle C we just discussed, and here would be an A. Now, the same rules apply to bass clef staff. Since the top line here is always an A, this is a C, and this is an E. And as this bottom line on a bass clef staff is always G, these notes are a C and a D. Here's a tip to make sure you always notate and read music correctly. As you can see here, this A on the treble clef staff is the same A that would be notated on the top line of a bass clef staff. This is still proper notation, as it also notates that if this was being played by a piano player, the treble clef's notes would be played by his or her right hand, and the bass clef's notes would be played with his or her left hand. Which actually makes sense in this example because as you can see, the D on the bass clef is being played at the same time as the A on the treble clef. And this D is very low in pitch and on a keyboard it would mean for a very big stretch with your left hand. But the way it is notated here tells you to play the A on the treble clef with your right hand and the D on the bass clef with your left hand. Lesson 5. Bar line. A bar line is simply a vertical line used to separate beat groupings. Lesson 6. Double bar. Double bars signify the end of a composition or the end of a major section of a composition. Lesson 7. Measure. A measure is simply the space between bar lines. 